finally, from your point of view, so remember we always have these three points of view, from the business point of view, from the customer's point of view, as well as from your point of view. So from your point of view, what must you do to kind of build your business? So this is the part where you really want to be able to differentiate yourself from the competition, okay? Because your solution may not be unique, but how do you find a position or a way to kind of angle your solution that this is the best solution or this is the most appropriate or uh, the most logical solution for your prospect, uh, prospective customers, All right? So here is where I see personal branding comes into play. So there are three key things when we talk about personal branding. The first one is that personal branding is uh, first and foremost, you have to have the proficiency in that, all right? So you have to be good at what you do. Secondly, of course, uh, when we talk about personal brand, uh, you have to be passionate about it. And so, uh, you know, you may be good at something, but are you passionate about it? And if you're passionate about it, it comes through. And the third one, which is perhaps most, of, more of, most often ignored, but highly critical is perspective, your point of view. So for example, Two people may come in to look at a particular solution but have a very different point of view. So one point of view may be that, for example, for me, my point of view is that I want to keep things simple. Why? Because I'm traveling, I'm always on the move. And so I kind of have a, a very cumbersome solution. And so I want to find the simplest way, the most minimalist way to kind of address a particular issue. All right. Uh, whereas another person may have a different approach. All right, they may go for the best tools, the most expensive tools, the most sophisticated tools, for example. Okay, so different point of view would, of course, uh, would of course, uh, you know, uh, be be attracted to different type of audiences. So that kind of brings us back to the user profile. So if you un understand your users, if you understand your customers you will then be able to find a way to kind of angle yourself and to use your own perspective to kind of, you know, uniquely communicate your solutions to them. All right, so, so these are the three key parts of building your business. And once again, uh, today we are kind of, we are staying indoors to kind of do some activities because it's raining outside. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's raining outside. Uh, and the kids are back home here doing their own activity and that's why you hear that little chatter in the background uh, earlier on. Okay, so uh, once again, uh, my name is Melvin and thank you for watching and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.